And welcome back to Crusader of Cinti with Alan T. Treff, Chronicler of the Elsewhere Incorporated. Today we'll be going to Anemone Beach. Also a really catchy little tune. And I always like the nice touch of the footsteps. It's a small thing, but uh, well, it does come into play later. For now though, it just is kind of neat. As you can see, and as you probably realized last time, and I didn't really think to say anything about it, we now have the ability to jump. Uh, true thing is my buddy narrator number two cannot stand games, Zelda games. He hates Zelda games because he hates the fact that you can't jump. It's a little thing and it kind of tells you something about him I suppose. But uh, I don't mean that in a mean way. He doesn't like Resident Evil because he firmly believes if you push up on the controller that your character should move up on the screen. And honestly, I can't fault him on that, but, uh, oh well. But yeah, jumping. Jumping is a mechanic, a big mechanic in this game, as you're about to see. I want you to walk through the spikes. But it also works into a lot of the puzzles. Money! And an apple. Okay. But yeah, the uh, let's see, there should be another apple here. Yeah, here we go. Okay. You see, money doesn't give you a whole lot. I guess it's a lot compared to, you know, just getting one coin at a time. But, uh... Oh, let's get these guys out of the way. These guys usually drop coins, too. I mean, you could, I could technically sit here and farm them, but... Ugh. You don't want to watch it, and I certainly don't want to do it. So, let's see. Yeah, you gotta be careful around here. You jump on the crack, you fall and lose health. A lot of tricky stuff around here, though, if you don't think to do it. But actually, surprisingly unstraightforward. You think the beach would be simple, but, no, well, got a little pathfinding to do. Sometimes you'll actually have coins just pop up in the sand, so, eh, just want to walk around in the sand and get coins. That's an option. I also have a weird cameo coming up. You can see part of them right there. Unfortunately, we can't get to them from here. Okay, let's see, we have Mac, but he's useless. Uh, Johnny, I think I should say, I'm used to playing the Soleil version. Oddly enough, that does come into play, because um, it entirely changes one of the solutions for a puzzle later in the game. Okay, oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, wait till 2006, buddy. Okay. I want to say there's a spot later where you come back here. Well, I don't want to get into that. It's later in the story. But um, let's just say it doesn't make any sense because uh, in the American version, I want to say his lounging chair is still there, but he is gone. Okay. Let's see. We should be able to get to town now. Uh, yeah. Again, not an entirely obvious thing, but... Okay, this is the town of, uh, oh, what do they call it? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Yep, here's the first thing. We could buy them if we want. Temporary use. Basically functions like a full heal. I think it's a full heal. Basically like a fairy, though. So when you get hurt, yeah, not which point to that. Get hurt, he'll heal you up. Okay, so we find out that there is a rock blocking something. We have to step multiple times on the door to get it to work. And this bear is kind of a spaz. Er... You know what I mean. Ah, and there is some, uh, something, an animal on the other side of the rock. So, we gotta find the rock. Okay. Animal on the other side of the huge rock. But there's a monster there, too. Oh, nothing we can do. Well, I'm sure there's a monster over there. Hot days. Yeah, that's why we can't get through. There's lava blocking the path. Oh, here's a cute little visual gag, I suppose. Let's see. To the top is reflection. To the right is prostration. Might wonder what that means. And we'll find out. Touch and repent. So, yeah. 
deep. Okay. Visual gags. Ha. Ah. Okay, now basically this next dungeon area is up to the north of the village. But as they mentioned, there's a rock blocking the way. We need to be able to move the rock. So we have to learn how to lift. Gotta love that. In one one sense, I like the fact that you can jump in this game. And, you know, I get why they put this in here where you don't know how to lift things, but at the same time, it doesn't make sense from a practical point. Either it's saying that your character really has never picked up anything in his life, or that he's saying that this is how to lift heavy things. And uh, the, the elephant basically just tells him, oh, you just gotta believe in yourself to lift heavy things. It feels that easy. <laughs> Go out and lift your car. What, you couldn't do it? You have self-esteem issues, my friend. Okay, this is the main thing you gotta deal with in this area. Is the wind blowing back and forward. There's also some weird switch stuff going on here, but it's not too complicated. still want to come over here and uh, hit this one first, though. Oops. Come on. Come on. Okay. But yeah, this is how to, if you need to back out to heal up or something this will do you, but you'll need to find the, the other one later. That also unlocks something over here, I believe. Oh, a lot of apples hiding in the grass here, so if you get too low, just remember to go around and do that. Okay, we should open up this. But you gotta be careful around here, because there's a lot of needless backtracking, and when it's the backtracking that requires the wind to blow you a certain way, yeah, it gets tedious really fast. Yeah, right here. Okay. Yeah, get away from the blow the other way. See if I can get a few more apples. Nope. Some kind of annoying thing is if you hit something, if you don't hit anything, the sword will still cut things in the rebound. If you do hit something, it just comes straight back to you, even if it would pass over the grass. Okay. And... Again, these little guys who are in the ground, gotta make sure you move past them before they get back up. Oh, apple. Okay. You can attack the crabs, but there's just not really much of a point. That well, was something I had with Zelda. Like, well, the enemies, there's really no reason to kill them. I guess if you're trying to farm rupees. But in this game, I think I even mentioned it earlier. I thought the turtles might drop coins. They don't ever drop coins. They never drop anything. Certain enemies drop coins, but they do it so consistently. Yeah, I gotta be careful. The wind blows. And I might be able to do control jump that way, though. Nope. Okay. Sad part is I need another burst wind to get to that money over there. So we wait. Okay. Okay, here we go. Next one, we're good to go. Don't worry, it's a little faster if you go back the other way. Oh, here we go. And jump. Oh, dang it. One more time, one more fun, and good. Okay, over 100 melons. And we're waiting again. Yeah, it's kind of this dungeon in the hole. You gotta wait for the wind to blow the way you want. I mean, I've seen it in other games, it just, it doesn't make it any less annoying. Okay, we need to get to that switch, but we can't because there's blue things in the way. Which means I came over here too early and means we're going to sit through more wind. Dang it, sorry. It's honestly been a while since I've played this, so... That still doesn't excuse being a bad gamer. Imagine if in Wind Waker you really couldn't control the wind, you just had to wait for it to blow the right way. I totally wouldn't add hours, if not weeks, onto your gameplay. Okay. That part was probably right next to it earlier, I just didn't think about it. Okay. And this. I think that was it, but I do think there's an apple at the tip of that peninsula here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Come on, come on. 
Okay. Okay. Most of the enemies here are just slugs and crabs. Nothing terribly threatening. Technically, I wouldn't even count anything here as a monster. Okay, wait for one more wind blast and we should be good to go. Here we go. And good. Hopefully there's not too many more of these mandatory wind sections. It's one of those things that when you go into the area, you're like, this is an interesting mechanic. And then you sit in there for a while and you're like, no, this is really annoying. Okay. Uh, pretty good in health right now, so let's see. Make sure I did... Oh, yeah, there's a switch over here. I need to make sure I hit that. Okay. We can go back if we need to. I wouldn't advise it, though, because I'm pretty sure the switch is reset whenever you leave the area. Okay, a few more apples. Okay, there's a bridge there, but I think we'll need a board. And I believe there's a board up here. Up, oh, these stupid things. Okay. It looks to me, I, I don't know if it's supposed to be something else, but it looks like a little manhole covers with eyes poking out of it. Okay. Just put this down. There's too many slugs here. I need to clear these guys out. Ow, ow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, I guess while we're doing this. Okay. Okay, we're good to go. Let's see. Again, with the holes, it don't really have much purpose. I guess you could hide for the enemies here, but... Again, why? What, 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 it doesn't serve any purpose. Actually, I'm right now I'm trying to think of any times of thinking of the boss fights. I think of games where there, there are hiding mechanics. I remember that um, Illusion of Gaia, something I'd like to cover, I might be covering later. There's like one of the boss fights where your main um, defensive technique is to disappear for a short time, like you dissolve into the ground for a few seconds. Okay, uh, hmm. I think you need a certain power up for this, and I don't got it. Okay. Uh, we'll come back later. And the board is gone. Well, Apple. Getting a little lower in health. I, I should have been a little more careful back there. Okay. Oh. Wind. Yeah, it's blocked. Okay. Yeah. Nothing really I can do here. I think there's two things I could use to do this, but I don't have either of them, so... Oh, okay. Oh, dang it. Ah! Sorry, it doesn't make any sense for me to sit here and get angry at my own bad game. Okay. Okay, got another board. I think... Not too far. Oh, we gotta wait for the wind again. Up here. Oh, good. Excellent. Whee! Okay. Good time to mention this Annie, I suppose. This game really kind of feels like it should have analog support. I mean, it's the Genesis game, so I know it doesn't, but... Oh! Ah, dang it. And there goes the board. Maybe I, maybe I don't need it. So we can't pick it up. It's really touchy about how close you gotta be on the on the mark for that. But oh, oh It's okay though, I think it respawns up here. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we couldn't be too far from the boss now. Remember we came here to save an animal. And it's oh and that was a waste of time. Good, good, good job, Alan. 